Okay, hello everybody. This week is going to be interesting uh, because there's not much video. It's just going to be me, me, the talking head, talking uh, for this week. But I do have a couple of things to tell you and uh, some photos to go through. We're going to do some restaurant reviews this week, starting right now. my week. Okay, so basically earlier this week, uh, me and Priscilla, um, I was starting to feel a little bit better uh, during during this week, and I um, decided, no, oh, let's go to a couple restaurants. We haven't been, uh, me and her haven't been out lately, so we decided to go to some restaurants. And the first one we went to is the Cheesecake Factory. It's kind of a famous restaurant, a little expensive, um, but we decided, what the heck, she needed to buy a cake from somebody there, a cheesecake for someone's birthday. And I just thought, well, let's just go there and check the place out. The, line, the lines are long because this, uh, this certain cheesecake fa factory is in Novi, Michigan. And it had just opened a couple weeks before. So it was uh, pretty busy because I take it, everybody wanted to go there. But anyway, so we waited the uh, hour and a half to two hours to actually get in the place. We came there curious, not hungry, and we ended up uh, buying a lot of food anyway. But yeah, I mean, like I said, the like earlier that week, I wasn't feeling all that well. I was kind of resting half the time. But decided to go to this restaurant. We started with some appetizers. I had these uh, little, they, they weren't cheese sticks. I, they, they were like a variation of cheese sticks and something else, but uh, they weren't too bad. Then Priscilla got a kale salad. She got a kale salad, and she said it was pretty good and the great thing we liked about these appetizers and these appetizer salads was that you got your money, money's worth uh, from it and the service was very good, the waiter we had was very nice and then we moved on uh, to the uh, main courses and Priscilla got a veggie burger um, along with french fries and some all other toppings and stuff and it looks very nice isn't it? And she enjoyed eating that, and I got just, um, when in doubt, I say in restaurants, when in doubt, you're not sure what to get, always get the fettuccine alfredo, because, you know, it's classic, you usually can't go wrong with it, some are better than others, and this one wasn't too bad, the thing I was, the thing I was impressed about it was the fact that, um, I believe it was homemade noodles, like from the like the real fettuccine noodles that that you you get, you know, not not like the boiled kind that you know the hard kind you get from the store um, that you boil down, but I mean real noodles, just real noodle pasta. You know how they make it, and just just put it through a machine and they boil it quickly and voila, and and it tasted differently, but I mean it wasn't too bad. Um, um, it's definitely not the best fettuccine alfredo I had, but it's definitely up there in the top five. It was, it was, it was pretty good fettuccine. And yes, and next was dessert, and we had the cheesecake, of course, because it was from Cheesecake Factory. And Priscilla got the red velvet cheesecake, um, which I tried, and that was extremely good. I got the s'mores uh, cheesecake, and it wasn't too bad. I think it was like a little over sugary, but I mean, overall, the cheesecakes were just great. So, Cheesecake Factory. Great place to go to. Um, it's a little bit expensive, so it's not something you go to every night uh, for sure, unless you want to go broke. But like, say every once in a while, you feel like uh, you know getting pampered and and uh, waited on very nicely. I mean, they're they're a nice nice place to go to. Um, so I give I give a thumbs up to uh, the Cheesecake Factory. And then late much later on during the week during the weekend, we decided to go to a little restaurant called Pizzeria Biga. And uh, we wanted to try it out, you know, just try the pizzas. Uh, Priscilla heard some good things about it, so we went in on a Saturday afternoon. I think we were the first ones there, and we got waited on. And we uh, tried out a couple of appetizers. Appetizers. I tried out the little cheese samplers that they give, and it's very, very nice. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of the cheese you decide to get. I mean, they're just they're like they're homemade in a different style of like goat. Uh, cow and, and sheep cheese. Priscilla got some uh, minestrone soup, vegetarian soup, and uh, she loved that. She said it was excellent. And then next, of course, came the pizza, and I couldn't even take a picture. 
of the pizza before we started chowing down on it. So I, as soon as I took a picture of it, it's like half the pizza was gone. But very nice tasting pizza. I've, I'd, I'd say it was really good. And the great thing about the ingredients is that they obviously they put their pizza in the oven. It's it's an oven baked, uh, real real oven baked pizza with a fire, you know, uh, burning oven, and just throw the stuff in there. As, as well as they do not put ye like a certain yeast in their pizza, they put probiotics. And since I'm such a big person on probiotics right now, especially through uh, my holistic medicine, uh, trying to get the intestines well, I just all for it. And, and I mean, it, it was great. Their service was great. And then we tried some gelato, which is a different version of ice cream, but it's called gelato. And I, I had some uh, vanilla and chocolate gelato, and Priscilla, Priscilla got some... Uh, is a lemon sorbetto, which is like a sherbet, but and sorbetto, and we loved it. it was It was excellent, uh, excellent tasting. So um, overall, I, I would say that Pizzeria Biga, out of out of the two restaurants, Pizzeria Biga was our uh, most favorite place for the week. We'll most definitely be going back and probably bringing friends. Uh, they just good service, you know, a very very nice uh, atmosphere. Um, also, they just they had some comical things like uh, here's a sign that was, talk, was talking about uh, what they do to your kids if they're misbehaving. You can read it in front of there, and the sign says, "Warning: Unattend unattended children will be given an espresso and a free puppy." So I just I thought that was kind of a cute flair they have on the place. But yeah, overall, Pizza Room Bigga, nice place to go to. I mean, I was still dreaming about their pizza, like. A day or two after I'm going there, so it was very nice. But anyway, that is Ryan's Restaurant Review. Uh, that is it for this week, and I'll see all of you next week.